Hi, David O'Sullivan here, and this video I'm going to be giving my first thoughts before and after to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. It's finally here, it's finally upon us, Batman v Superman. It feels like it's been years waiting for this film. I remember back in 2013 when they first announced Batman v Superman was going to be happening. I remember Harry Lennis reading out that passage from The Dark Knight Returns at Comic Con, they were announcing the film, and now Obviously got pushed back from 2015 to 2016 and now finally, here we are, it's finally here, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And I'll be seeing it tonight at midnight release, I'm really looking forward to going to see it. And in this video I'm going to be giving my first thoughts that I have about the film before going to see it and then my first reaction coming out of the cinema having just seen it. So yeah, obviously we've got these reviews from the critics coming in now and it's been very mixed to say the least. Um, I'm not that surprised to be honest with you because it was the same with Man of Steel. Um, Man of Steel only got 50 something percent of one tomato, so some people love it, some people hate it. So it's a very divisive kind of film. And I think it's going to be the same about the Super. It's only on like 40 something, I think, at the moment. I'm not too worried because people have liked the film. It's not just everyone's hating on it. But at the same time, I am slightly more anxious and nervous and worried because. You know, it's not been an overwhelmingly positive response. There has been some very negative reviews. And even people that like Man of Steel didn't like Batman v Superman. So that's kind of got me worried as well. And also the fact that there's lots of reviewers that I really kind of trust and respect and often agree with have not liked the film as well. So that's got me quite worried as well. But really, to be honest with you, I don't often listen to critics that much. I don't really let critics... Uh, our reviews affect me that much, you know. Uh, I just hope that I like it, you know. I don't care. Even if everyone else hated it, as long as I liked it, I would be happy, you know. I am more worried now as to whether I'm going to like it or not, whether I think it's going to be good. But I'm still hoping that I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going I'm to like the film. I may like it, I may not, I don't know. But I'll wait and see when I go and see it tonight. But like I said, yeah, I don't really let other critics reviews affect me that much I just as long as I like it that's all that I care about yeah so with that being said let's get on to my um my hopes and my expectations for the film going in obviously I haven't seen it yet like I said but what I'm hoping from the film obviously like I said I'm a little worried now about certain aspects having read certain reviews and that but I'm still not letting that affect me or cloud my judgment I'm still gonna view it as and you know review it on how I feel and what I think about the film but as far as what I'm hoping from the film and what I'm expecting, the, the scenes and the parts of the film that I'm looking forward to the most, I would say, are the opening of the film, because apparently, from what I've heard, the film opens with the final battle of Man of Steel, but we're seeing it from Bruce Wayne's perspective on the ground, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I have a feeling it's going to be one of my favourite scenes in the film. And also, Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne and Batman, I'm really looking forward to seeing this new edgier, darker interpretation of the character and Ben Affleck's performance in the role and his portrayal of the character. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Obviously all the things coming back from Man of Steel like Henry Cavill as Superman. I'm also looking forward to um, Jeremy Irons as Alfred as soon as he was cast. It was one of the only casting decisions made by them. When they made it I was like, yes that is brilliant. I am totally on board with that. I mean I was on board with Ben Affleck as Batman but I think Jeremy Irons as Alfred was just perfect and from the, what I've seen from him from the trailers. I know he's not got a massive part but I'm really looking forward to seeing his interpretation of this new um, take on the character of Alfred. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And um, of course obviously the action sequences, the main big Central action sequence, Batman fighting Superman. Hopefully that will be really good. Hopefully it will be worth the wait uh, and the build-up because it's all been marketed around that really. I mean, it's half the title, Batman versus Superman. So I really hope the big, you know, central action sequence between Batman fighting Superman is really good. It is worth it. And also another scene that I'm, I'm looking forward to is the Batman nightmare sequence. It's been glimpsed in some of the trailers and it just looks really cool. It's like just a Mad Max take on Batman, just like Batman in his purse pocket to waste that and just going crazy and it's like Superman's turn evil it looks like and they're just fighting each other in this crazy post-apocalyptic future. I'm really looking forward to that scene. That looks really cool. I've heard some good things about that as well. And then as far as the finale of the film, obviously I haven't seen it yet. Um, 
obviously the final action sequence though is going to involve Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman teaming up to take on Doomsday. Obviously we know that much from the second trailer that revealed that. And to be honest with you, I'm not looking forward to that all too much. Apparently it's not supposed to be that great. And like I said, although I don't really let critics affect me that much, I do have a feeling myself that I'm not going to be too keen on that part of the film. I have a feeling that I'm going to really like everything else. But I have a feeling that I'm not going to like that third act and that final action sequence too much. I mean, I hope the action itself is really cool to watch, but just the whole thing of them teaming up and taking on this big CGI monster thing for them all to team up and fight against, I just don't really like that. They had to just shoehorn Doomsday in there. Obviously, like I said, I haven't seen the film yet, but I'm just, I really wish they didn't put Doomsday in the film. That's my main complaint, really. I do like Doomsday as a character, and I do want to see him in a DC movie, but I just didn't want him to introduce him and, and put him into a film this early on. I mean, this is the second film. You know, we've had Man of Steel, and this is just the second film in this new DC Extended Universe, and Doomsday is such a big, massive, iconic Superman villain, that why would they put him in a film this early on? It just seems like it's just too soon, I don't know. And another thing that's really worrying me, obviously... The fact that they have Doomsday in there, I'm just really concerned that they're going to do the death of Superman. I really hope they don't, because like I said, this is the second film. It is just way too early to do anything like that. I don't know if they are going to or not, but the fact that some people have come out saying, oh, it's quite a gut-wrenching, emotional ending. I'm like, oh, they're not going to do the death of Superman, are they? Just, I'd love to see that adapted, don't, don't get me wrong, but just this early on in the second film... I get that they're trying to rush it all into the Justice League to try and catch up with Marvel and that, but to do something that massive and that consequential this early on in just the second film, I don't know if that would work or not. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but to do something that would be presumably that powerful and that emotional in just the second film, I don't know if it would have the necessary emotional weight to it and affect us in the way that it should, having just be in the second film. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to do this or not, but I'm just really worried the closer and closer we get into the film, I'm more worried that they're going to do that, especially since we have Doomsday in there at the end, and it's going to be quite a sad, emotional, downbeat ending. I just really hope they don't do that. But like I said, I haven't seen the film yet, so I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like the ending or not, but like, later on when I come out of the cinema, I won't spoil anything, but I will say whether I like the ending or not, but I won't go into detail until my spoilers review. So there we go, that wraps up my... Um, First thoughts going into Batman v Superman, my, my hopes, my fears, my expectations for the film. Obviously I haven't seen it, I'm going to be seeing it tonight at the midnight release, so I will do a second part of this video where I come out of the cinema and give my first reaction, having just seen the film, and whether any of my hopes and expectations came true, and if, my, if any of my fears came true. I'll reveal that later on, having just come out of the cinema, when I give my first reaction, like I said. So... Yep, yeah, until then, for now, I've been David O'Sullivan. I'll see you later.